won't believe I used AI to generate every model in this animated scene. With Meshi AI, an amazing platform we'll be covering which lets us convert text to a 3D model from mere text prompts in a few seconds or add texture to one you may have, which we'll use to create animations today. Really? Tell me about it. <sighs> Youngins these days have no manners. You might print or sell them. So let's go to Meshi. Links in description and hit try for free. You'll be directed here where you'll see a lot of community models. If you click one, it'll show the prompt used by them and you can click remix to use it yourself. I'll close this and go to text to 3D. And here's where we can start typing our text prompt. I want a buff humanoid female fox. You can fill in the details or features you don't want in your model like a deformed face or bad proportions. Come down and we have style presets to select from. I'll go for realistic which works well for characters and generate. In seconds it spews out 4 models from which we'll select one we like to refine. And once again it gives a result pretty quickly exactly what we asked for. I'll download it from here to choose FBX from multiple file formats. Let's try another character and to avoid bad quality we'll add it in the negative prompts and then generate it. Click on the gear and make sure it has high texture richness. The model has great detailing with glowing eyes. We also have an option to convert the mesh to quads and reduce polygons if needed. Let's download it now. And go back to select AI texturing and create a new project here. I'll upload our previous model and describe the new model prompt. Just paste these sections with guideline prompts given under their guidelines and generate. We get a really cool mecha wolf. Go to texture settings to make it really shiny and metallic with this slider. The glow really comes through. You can share it to the community from here and get 50 extra credits as well. These are the different results for various art styles and the prompts using texturing. Looks really cool. You may upload some design or texture you want to be applied to the model under the concept art tab. Now we can go back to go to image to 3D model where I'll select one from the examples to generate a 3D model of this monster. Neat. And then I went on to generate this gemstone podium and a few more as assets for my animation and for fun like this cartoon penguin with the jetpack, this intricately designed samurai oni mask, a samurai vampire and a gold and ruby dagger also retextured in a borderland style. It may also generate results like this sometimes, a double face. But with the AI constantly evolving, I'm sure the models will keep improving. But I'll download it to show how we can use this as well. There's a text to voxel feature as well, which generates pixel style models. We'll generate one of Homer Simpson. Here's a shoe with wings and snowy mountains with trees. Meshi provides 200 credits per month in the free tier on a shared server and dedicated servers in the pro and max tiers with 10 and 20 tasks waiting in queue respectively at 16 for pro and 48 dollars a month for the max tier on their annual subscription. You can also pay for additional credits as a paid subscriber. Once we download all the models from Meshi, let's punch on to Mixamo by Adobe to animate our character models. Sign in to go to animations and upload character to drop our downloaded fbx file here. Rotate to get a frontal view and next. Here we will place these indicated circles on the chin, wrists, elbows, knees and groin of the character to rig it. Then next. It's done. Click next and here you can search from hundreds of animations by searching and selecting them. You can increase the frames using the slider and click download. Make sure the format is FBX and set to with skin, then download it. We'll do the same for a few more animations, taking some of different characters we generated. Once we have all the animations we need, we'll open Blender now to make our scenes and go to File, Import, select GLB to add any 3D background of your choice for the scene. And click this. I got this island GLB file from Sketchfab. You can download one from there for free by searching for it. Similarly, import your FBX animation. I'll place it accordingly on the bench by selecting, dragging, rotating it. You can see how everything looks in the camera and scale it to size using S key. Also move the camera accordingly. Once satisfied, go to output and copy these settings. 
select container as quick time. You can also scroll up to select the output file path here. Once done, click on render and render animation. Similarly, we'll do it for other animations and characters. You can press space to play it and see how it looks. This background was generated on Zoe Depth. I'll post a tutorial on it soon. We'll import the gem podium we generated and place it on the stage. We'll place the dagger we generated on top of it. I want it to be rotating. Let's place our adventurer now. Let's use it so the back is facing the camera and render it. Similarly render all of them. For a transparent render, just change the video codec to QT animation and go to render to tick the transparent checkbox under film. Finally, let's import all our scenes to CapCut and drag them on the timeline in sequence to adjust and trim them. Let's also import some voiceovers that were generated on 11 labs and add them to the scenes. Then go to add effects and filters over the clips to make the scenes really pop. And finally bring them to life with some sound effects and assets you can download on Pixabay. Once happy, click on export and select 4K to wait for the result. An adventurer finds an ancient artifact. <laughs> I hope you like this tutorial on how to use Meshi for assets and animations. Yes, Al. What's up? Do comment and let me know if you tried it out. Till then, see you in the next one.